It's not a God of a first, a second, a second chance, a God of a third chance, a fourth chance. He, he's a God of many chances. So sometimes God give a chance. I know somebody was praying for me. And that time my mama prayed. I, I felt it. I felt that prayer. Thank the Lord. I said, that's it. I got me a job. I said, that's it for the streets. Thank the Lord. Long before I met my wife, I said, that's it. That's it. I'm getting myself together. The prodigal son realized, and that's the critical point that we get, is we got to go through the ghost. We got to go through a lot of mess. I li I'm living a fast life, man. And so much I, I learned, I learned, I learned so much quick. Quick. I was, I was picking up quick. But I learned one thing. When I put away those childish things, I left an ear to learn and to obtain wisdom. A lot of my mentors, they sold it to me and they told me how to obtain different things. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I learned was basically that you can do anything if you want to do it. How bad do you want it? I learned that and said, and this is one thing, we can't just start it and not finish it. So whatever you start, you got to finish it. And one thing, you got to have God in your life. You can't do it without God. I don't care, I knew that. I knew that part. And one thing, you can start something, but if without God, you won't finish it. You hear what I'm saying? Somebody prayed for me that I would turn my life around. Somebody prayed for me unconditionally because of the people that, that would want to hang around me was no good. The people that I was associated with no good. And you gonna let people, you let your environment bring you down, man. I'm, and, but after that, I was so careful of the people, I wouldn't ride nobody in my car. Amen. Let me tell you, when, me, when I met my wife, guess what? Who I met was in the car. Nobody, just me. I wouldn't pick up no hitchhiker, no, no buddy friends or nothing, because I don't know what they may have. You, you hear what I'm saying? I, don't, I didn't play that stuff. Because people will mess you up, man. They'll go in there and do some crazy things, get in your car, and, 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 and you end up getting in trouble because of something you didn't know. So I learned not to pick people up. I learned to be by myself. Amen? Amen. And that's the safe way. Amen? Amen? But the prophet's son realized what he had done. Some of us in here realize what you have done soon. But how many people haven't realized what they've been done and what they're yet doing and they're still doing it? They ain't came to themselves. But when you realize where you're at, that's a good thing. Jonathan uh, called the other night. He realized what he'd been doing. And one of the things I, you know, and I can say I raised, I raised all the children. I raised all my wife's children and mine. So anybody can't tell me nothing. I, I, I know them. Amen. And Jonathan was the oldest, so I, he used to be with me all the time. I take all the car shows and everything. Amen. Gave him a car. Bought him a kill the silver wedding project. Ran into a pole. Almost, I, almost killed. He brought the car home. So, so I didn't want no more. Amen. We were living in Price then, but amen, we had left that then. I bought it home. But I gave him a car. I, huh? He was racing. He was racing. Racing, yeah, that's what he was, he was racing in the project, and, and he almost hit. Hit. I, I mean, they were racing right in the project too. But boy, I was so scared, brought a car. I don't want the car no more. <laughs> he was scared so bad. Hey, Amen. He hit the pole. I said to say, he he called. Said, I want to talk. He said, Mom, y'all y'all brought us in praying. I could never pray. I couldn't lay in the bed without I praying. He said, I had to pray. Said mama, mama would say, y'all, let's pray. So he remembered how his mama uh, uh, coerced him to pray. So he is 40 something years old. 40. 40. Amen, I'm gonna get it right. He's 40 years old. He coming to himself. Somebody prayed for me. Mama prayed for me. But here it is now, he's making prayer his main thing. He said, I'm not, I can't lay down no more without praying. I can't lay down in the bed without praying. He said, this young man that I'm with right now, I'm telling him. He read him by me. He said, but now, before we lay down in that bed, we're going to pray. Look at here. 
Good God, am I, you mean it took 40 years? Boy, in and out prison system. I'm going to go on all of them because I, I, I care for all, these are all my children. All down in Fort Mount, I'm going to all these places, these places, see him and miss them. I can get into all the prisons by me preaching here. I, did, I, was just, I can get in them anytime. They gave me a special pass. I can go to any of them. Jailhouse, all of them. I had a special ID. I can get in all of them. I went to them. That boy there, I'm right there. Amen. He's my son. Amen. I, 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 see, what I'm going to tell you about me. People don't know me. A lot of people don't know me. And sometimes you don't know me until you come up and hear my story. You're not going to know me through Joel. You're not going to do it through Sean. The only way you're going to know me, you have to come up yourself. When I see something in a child, I don't give up on it. I will stay right there and chill with him. And long as he show me that he's out, that he's going to try to do something with life, I'm right in his corner. And that's where, and that's where it was with Jonathan. I will always, and I told my wife, I said, you know, we stay praying for him. Even, even unconditionally, we will appear at home, we praying for him. I, unconditionally, somebody prayed for me. I, I wasn't looking for him to get straight to pray for him. I said, Lord, I want you to clean him up. And that was the first sign. When he called him last week, not me because he called you, Joel, and told you. Mm-hmm. So what I'm saying is, probably the son realized something. And that's where we're at. He's in the hall pen. He's in his mess. He ain't clean. He dirty. He got the hall stuff all on him. The stench of worthiness is all on you. The stench of, 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 of craziness, potting, and doing all kinds. Of, but you're in the hall pen. But look! Good God, I'm at it. Where am I? I'm in my mess. Let me get out of the pen. Let me get myself together. Let me go back home. I got to repent to my daddy. I said the wrong thing. And he said, he said, now my daddy got servants. So much food, enough that he can, plenty of food that he can feed them. And here I'm dying of being hungry. My daddy got so much stuff. And I, 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 I'm in this hog pen looking at this hog slop like it's good something good to eat. Sometimes you can look at a situation and too long and you want to put it in your mouth. This boy was looking at this husk that the hogs eat and he felt like putting it back. How many have been brought up and been around some hogs? We, I came up in the country. So hogs eat slop. They call it husk. They eat it like it's the best thing in the world. Mm-hmm. This boy is in the hog pen watching those hogs eat and he's looking at it like he want to eat some of it. And he's perishing for the lack of food. Mm-hmm. He's hungry, looking at the hogs eat, and he looked at him enough, and he put the thinking, "Uh, I'm getting out of this pen. I'm going back home to my dad. Mm-hmm. And first thing I got to do, I know, I know he's been praying. I can feel it. I can feel it. The turnaround time. I'm going back, and I'm gonna tell my dad, uh, I, I, I have sinned against you and God. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Lord." He said, he said, I sinned against you. He said, he said, I'm going back home. And the Bible said he left and returned to his father. Mm-hmm. And one of the things he said, he said, I have sinned against God and have done you wrong. And I'm not, I'm not worthy to be called your son. But let me be like one of your high servants. This boy is so so down now. He don't care. He said, I'm not worried to be called your son. He said, make me one of your high servants. Mm-hmm. He said, I sinned against you. Sinned against God. He said, I sinned against God and did you wrong. Mm-hmm. I realized that I left home wrong. And every time we realize, now this is not the devil going to make us do the, the part of the son. The devil's not going to tell us to go home with a pretty heart. Let me tell you that. The devil is never going to tell you to go home and beg your pop, your mama, your daddy, pardon. He ain't going to tell you to do that. See, see, God telling him now. See, those prayer. Somebody pray for me unconditionally. Thank you, Lord. Mm-hmm. Your mama don't stop loving you because of what you're doing wrong. Thank you, Lord. Your mama don't stop praying you because you, you left home and said everything. She never stopped. The father, see, that love don't stop. See, love continues. 
unconditional love, continue, continue loving you even when you done wrong.